Hi, Zachary C. Ashby at Pacific Northwest Family Law. Um, Want to talk a little bit about parenting plans and custody battles and some things to remember that will um, provide you with, with uh, success long term and that will help you get the right parenting plan. Um, and, and by right parenting plan, I mean something that, that will help your children grow up to be uh, well-adjusted adults, uh, emotionally healthy, um, just, just the stellar individuals that, that you know that they can be. Uh, in the past, many parenting plans have not taken that into consideration. I mean, th this was an old school way of doing, of uh, figuring out a custody arrangement. Um, going way, way back to like the uh, 50s and 60s, what we were looking at is one parent essentially took the kids, usually the mom, and uh, dad really didn't have a lot of involvement. Um, that was it. Uh, you, you know, maybe if the mom let him a little bit. That doctrine has gone out the window. The courts try to be a little bit more fair. We're, we are seeing more and more 50-50 uh, plans where the kids spend equal amounts of time. That's not the right thing for every, as much as both parents want it, or, or maybe a, a, one parent wants it, that's not always the best thing for the kids. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into it, uh, in, including scheduling and, and the age of the kids and what, you know, proximity to, to work and closeness where the parents live, lots of different things that, that will go into it. Um, but really, there are some things that are universal that, that you need to remember. Uh, um, first, that the right to be a parent belongs to both mothers and fathers equally. Uh, it's not a privilege to go care for your kids. Uh, dads don't go babysitting, um, especially not from a legal standpoint. I, I know I've said it before, and unthinking, and um, let me take the chance to publicly apologize to my, my wife. Uh, I don't know if she'll take the apology or not. I'll let you know. Um, but uh, it, it's not a privilege to watch the kids. It's, it's, it's a duty to care for your kids, to raise them. The more involved you are with your kids before you even start arguing about custody, the better. Um, that's not always possible with every career move, but, but look, if, if instead of spending time with your kids, you are um, choosing to go out with your friends on weekends, it's going to be hard for you to later convince the judge or even your spouse that the kids are really going to come first and uh, once you're separated, um, the things aren't going to change. So really how you spend your, your time before parenting battles um, is going, going to, to affect how things come out if, if you do get divorced. Um, th that's a complete aside. If after you filed, the, some other things to remember is that withholding a child it is not allowed. You can't use your children as bargaining chips. You can't say, well, give me um, some money or agree to this thing and then you can see your kids on the weekend. That, that's not okay. Um, that, that's never okay. Uh, there are circumstances in which maybe kids shouldn't be with the other parent because they're not safe. Um, usually those involve uh, some kind of substance abuse or mental health questions or, or something uh, along those lines. And in those circumstances, you're in a better position, you're, you're much safer taking what evidence and concerns you have to the court to get some kind of order before you take unilateral before action or you take things matters into your own hand. Um, and, and then um, oftentimes the court if your concerns are reasonable and valid, the court will um, validate you and, and assist you in protecting your kids. Um, you might get a reality check though if you think withholding kids is the right thing. If kids are being withheld from you, um, go to court, do that reality check. Hopefully you don't get one in return that, hey, kids aren't, in, aren't safe because of X, Y, and Z. Uh, that's what the courts are for when, when there's disagreement. Um, another thing to remember, and, and this is also universal, um, I, I've heard it called tact or, um, you know, politic or, or something, but, but it's uh, the ability to speak with respect to people that you disagree with. 
Um, if you want to learn how to not do this, just go on to Twitter. Uh, there's certain Facebook discussions when they're talking about politics. Uh, you know, bring up politics at Thanksgiving or religion. Um, you're not going to see a lot of tact, but it, but in in certain certain circumstances, and in uh, maybe the uh, a long lost uh, American ideal, we were able to talk about things that we disagreed with with respect and uh, compassion one with another. Um, and so using tact, ways to di disagree without being disagreeable, uh, is going to help you a lot. Um, and, and the reason is, uh, another thing to remember, until, you're, until you are dead or your kids are, you are going to be involved in each other's lives. Um, and that involvement can be uh, friendly or, or it can be unhappy. You, you get to decide that. Um, there are ways of, re, of working with people that you don't like, that do not involve uh, hate, that do not involve slander, that do not involve uh, sabotage, but will help your kids. Like I said at the beginning, ultimate goal we have with our clients is that you are in a position that you have a plan that will allow your kids to be healthy, well-adjusted adults. And if, if you take these things to heart, um, I, I do think that's possible despite, despite uh, the divorce. You, you can do it in the right way and, and your kids can actually benefit from, from will benefit from that. If you would uh, like more information, you can email us at info at PNW Family Law. If you have comments, please comment below um, or, or maybe you, you have experiences with this and, and you'd like to share that. Uh, do that. You can contact us also, Facebook Messenger. Uh, or you can call us, 509-866-4111. Thank you.